Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greedy comics, twins are hella sick. Hell whacking it. Take a bad hit. Take a bad hit. What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another TMNT figure review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutations Michelangelo Ninja Turtle into Weapon figure. I gotta give a big thanks to Playmates Toys for making this review possible and I gotta say I was really looking forward to seeing these in hand after I saw them at New York Toy Fair. They're basically transforming Ninja Turtles so as you can clearly see we get a turtle or a regular version of Michelangelo and then his alt mode are the nunchucks right over there. You can see the kid holding them. Then you can see the transformation steps right over here. Then on the side you get the transformation steps again and then on the back you can see a little read it if you want to read it go ahead and pause it now and then there's the two modes and then we also get Leonardo and Raphael I also picked up Leonardo so I might be reviewing him too and then not much more on the side all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's transforming Mikey out of the packaging and I have to say right off the bat I absolutely love this idea having the Ninja Turtles transform into their weapons I just think that is really cool they make for very fun toys now as a figure you don't get a lot of articulation but I think it still looks pretty neat as a Ninja Turtle. Of course you do see the nunchucks right there as his shell, which isn't a totally bad idea, you know, I think it actually kind of works. The only thing is that you have these gold bits right over here, but you know, for him transforming into nunchucks, I think it really does make sense. So looking right over here, you get some nice paint, you get some gold right over there. You can tell that he's going to be nunchuck right there, you know, the gold matches up. He does have two accessories. You get these two nunchucks that he can hold for his regular Ninja Turtle mode, and these are sculpted okay. There's no color variation on these, no paint added to him. It's just the brown plastic. They each fit into his hands pretty well, so you don't have to worry about them falling out or anything, so that's pretty good. That works out. And looking at the head sculpt, looks like Mikey. Looks pretty good. You know, some white paint right there for his teeth, and his bandana looks pretty good. You can see the blue eyes. You do see the seam right there, right through the middle of his head. I like the color green that they used. I think it's very accurate to the cartoon. And then you get the brown right there for the bands and everything, and the front part of his shell. So it looks pretty good. You get Mikey Doze. And here's the side of the figure right there. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Now, as far as articulation goes, you don't really get much. You cannot turn the head around at all. That's part of the transformation right there. You do get these armpit joints, which are actually part of the transformation, so you can get that moving, but it just looks kind of weird when you leave them out there like that. So I like to kind of leave them right there. You do get these shoulder joints that allow rotation moving upwards, and you can move them forward. And then you do get an elbow bend, but it's very, very strangely placed. Placed. I wish they had put it in a way where you could bend his arms forward. He could only bend his elbows in and I think that's super weird and even if you turn the wrists around it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense so kind of bummed out about that. You do get that wrist swivel though so that does help and that's on both sides. You don't get any waist rotation, no leg rotation or anything like that except for the toes that fold in due to the transformation. And then speaking of transformation, will you take us away Bumblebee? All right, so this is pretty easy. You just want to remove the shell over here. So take this piece off. And this will be the second set of nunchucks. So we'll put that aside for right here. This part of Mikey will make uh, the first set. So we split his head and then detach him like that. And then you want to do a 180 with the head right there. Pull this tab out. So it's like this purplish brownish color tab and it comes out right there. And same thing with this side. Sometimes you have to stick your finger inside that little hole right there. And then just rotate this through or maybe go the other way. Yeah, you want to go the outside way and then fold those back up and then just fold the toes in and then do the same thing with this one. You want to do a 180 and then open that. Open that, come on. And then swing this downward and then close these up and fold the toes in. Then you get this little hook right over here and it has this little piece that opens up right there. And you just push this end in right here and there you have your first set of nunchucks. Not looking too bad. And then you get this other set right over here which is a little bit easier. Just fold that open, swing this up and fold the arm in. Make sure the wrist is facing a direction where this will collapse nicely and you get one nunchuck. Oh, nope, I didn't do what I said. I didn't fold it up correctly. So having the open hand upwards is actually really helpful. And this comes with some very good directions too, as you can see right here. That's actually very well explained. But looking at this other side right here, open this up, swing this up over here, and then fold this in and then do the same thing having the open part of the hand facing upward and close that up. And then same deal with the other set of nunchucks where you get this little clamping piece and you just hook that together right here. And there you go. This looks a lot more like nunchucks to me than the other one. It's a little wobbly right here. 
but you know, still works. And here's the other one. So, I mean, this one definitely kind of looks like half Ninja Turtle, half Nunchuck. You can tell that they got this kind of brown thing going on on the side. This kind of came out like a little bit, I don't know how to explain it, kind of like purplish color for some reason. It's just very reflective brown, I guess. And you can get these Nunchucks swinging, but you kind of have to like, it gets kind of weird like getting them consistently to spin around. You know what I mean? Like they kind of, kind of get stuck on itself. Yeah, come on, spin around. See? So you kind of have to hang it upside down and kind of find the right angle to get them to swing. Same thing with this one over here. So I think these are pretty cool. I like them a lot. And I really like that they're about the same size. So let's see. Uh, yeah, these ones right here, the brown ones are actually just a little bit shorter. And then to compare these nunchucks over here to one of the dojo nunchucks that we got from TMNT Nicktoons, uh, you can see that this is actually, this whole set of nunchucks right here is about the size of one nunchuck. I want to transform them back into Michelangelo mode. Hold on a second. And then just to get a measurement on Mikey over here, he's standing at about six inches tall. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So even though the articulation is very limited in this turtle mode, I still think this is a very, very cool toy. I really like it a lot. I had to pick up the Leonardo one. Very, very curious to see how that one is. So I'll most likely review that one next Saturday. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shark in your face. Check out my Patreon account if you want to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to shardmasprime.net for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. So you just pack up. Ah, damn it.